Let's go to Romans chapter 2, 14 through 15. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. So let me say this first before the gospel was only for the Jews. So the Jews were the only ones that were being preached the gospel at a particular time. Now the Gentiles are being taught the gospel as well. And you may say, what is a Gentile? A Gentile is anyone that is not a Jew. So keep this in mind. So who was the gospel for at first? It was for the Jews first, then the Gentiles afterward. Okay, 14. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law. So what this is saying, in every man, God has placed his rules and regulations in all of us. So even if we are not taught verbally his rules and regulations, his rules and regulations are in us. We know right from wrong but we get to choose what we want to do, but we know right from wrong. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law. So even if they never read the Bible, the law is written within you. The law is written within us. So while you are saying God knows your heart, Yes, he does. He knows that what he has placed in it, in you. So when you say that you can sin all you want and God knows your heart, blah, 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 that is no excuse because you are wicked. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law at that time period, because first the Jews were only taught the law, the Gentiles at that time period, around that time period, were not taught the law. Do by nature the things contained in the law. So how can I do what is in the law when I never have been taught of the law? So that means God have placed that in all of us. Okay. These having not the law are a law unto themselves. So when, at that time period, when the gospel was not for the Gentiles, if a Gentile was to die, he or she would not be able to say, hey, no one taught me about God, no one taught me about your rules and regulations, so that means you can't send me to hell. No, according to this, the law is written within you. Even if no one have taught you about God, the law is written within you. 15. Which shew the work of the law written in their hearts. So the law is written within your heart. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves, which shew the work of the law written in their hearts. So even if you have not been taught about God, his rules and regulations is in your heart. So you so you have the choice to harden your heart or to follow God's rules and regulations. Their conscience also bearing witness. So even in your conscience, when you do something bad, well, at least at first, when you would do something bad, you would have a guilty conscience. But if you continue to do it over and over and over again, you are going to have less of a conscience. For instance, with people who are able to kill many people and eat people and do 
crazy types of tortures and stuff like that. I forget the word for it. I forget the word, how they say it. A sheared, sneered conscience. I don't know what word they say for it. Whatever. Okay. The conscience also bearing witness and their thoughts, the meanwhile, accusing or excusing one another. So you don't have any excuse. Even if you were on an island away from any place that taught about God, hey, if you are a human, the law is written within you. So you have no excuse. So you can say all you want, God knows my heart. Yes, he does, because he's written his rules and regulations within you. <laughs> so you know right from wrong, but you choose to do the wrong thing because you are wicked. Let's get straight to the point. You are wicked. I was wicked. I was very wicked. And I paid for it too. Maybe not everything because of grace, but many bad things happened to me because I was foolish. Foolish. Believing that sinning was going to, I was going to gain more. I was believing by sinning I was going to gain more. <laughs> Everything I gained, I pretty much lost. It's crazy. All the things, man. Anyways, you know what they say, crime does not pay? Well, sin does not pay either. <laughs> okay, God bless.